Is Harbor Freight fit for the pro mechanic? We were in Harbor Freight the other day and decided to pick up some items, and I had an idea on just grabbing a few things that we think should be in every shop. Now, some of these are not that cheap, and some of these are pretty cheap. In fact, we specifically spotted five different things that we bought, and really and truly more than that, um, like this car wash here, which we don't need this car wash. But by the way, good mention here, you can buy like Meguiar's 3M stuff at Harbor Freight as well. So it's not just their own branding. Uh, anyway, so we thought we'd get five specific tools that we were after that we think every shop needs. But we actually bought more than that, and we'll explain that here in just one moment, and we're going to give you some options. All right, just as we mentioned, we went to Harbor Freight and bought all of these, so this is not a sponsored video, and this is really not just a Harbor Freight uh, type of video, because we'll give you some other options as well, but just an idea of some things that you can get uh, that may help out around the shop. First off is a pair of flush cut pliers. Now, these are the icons, and I'm assuming they have that cap on there because they're very sharp. And you can see here, nice set of pliers. So, basically, your cutting blades are flush here on the back, not like a set of regular side cutters where they're actually, you know, V-shaped on either side, and so they leave a gap uh, when you cut. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Before I do that, though, there are other options because I think these were like 25 bucks to buy. And these are the icons. I think they're lifetime warranty. Um, just their top of the line tools at Harbor Freight. But if you want to spend less, I think these were less than $5. A little bit smaller, but still flush cutters with again that blade there flush on the back side. Let me show you what they're good for. Now you're probably already well aware of what they're good for. In fact, there are many uses you can use these for, but one of the main things is zip ties because when you take a regular pair of side cutters and you cut that zip tie, and I'm going to go as flat as I can against that zip tie, even if you cut it nice and straight, you still have a little stick out right there that is nice and sharp and likes to grab onto your skin. And if you get it crooked at all, it's even worse so. So basically you can take a pair of flush cutters and you can put it flush against that, make your cut, and now you have no stick out whatsoever. And we'll try even the cheapies here. And same thing, really great job even with the uh, cheap Pittsburghs there. And just to show you, here's the set that we use the regular side cutters for. And we'll get down here. Uh, I accidentally just pulled that back up. So let me make, sh let's push that back out. We'll give it a fair shot, close as we can. There we go. And then we'll grab these. And you see that we still cut off the end of that zip tie. So this is what flush cutters are great for. Again, there's many other uses, but something that everyone should have in their toolbox. And again, you can go with the $25 option or the less than $5 option here. So that's number one. Number two is a pressurized sprayer. Now, what are these good for? And by the way, these are not cheap. We bought this one at Harbor Freight, and I think it was $39, probably 40 plus once you pay taxes. And just so you know, I think we bought this one maybe on Amazon, maybe at O'Reilly or something. Uh, but anyway, and I think you can on Amazon save four, four bucks or something like that, five bucks maybe. And again, once you get it here, it might be just as expensive, but still you can save a few bucks if you go online and find these. But the point is, number one, it looks like they're all made almost identical, except the handle's a, a bit different, a little more industrial here on the Harbor Freight one. Uh, but there's a lot going on in this canister, and one of the main things is safety. Uh, if you're not aware of air pressure and how it works, it grows exponential as it relieves the container. So the last thing you want is one of these blowing up in your face. Anyway, regardless, I'm not a huge you know, safety freak, but my point is something like this, when you're holding a pressurized container, you do want something that you can actually count on. Now, let me give you a couple of uh, ideas for this. Number one, you're probably way ahead of me already, but I do have some pointers for you. You're probably all used to using aerosol cans of brake clean. And in fact, some people will swear that that's the only way to go. 
However, you can purchase this in larger volumes. And you can see it already discoloring my container there. Probably why Harbor Freight won't warranty this after it's out of the package. Anyway, so we've put brake clean now in our pressurized container. Well, it's not pressurized yet. And by the way, there's also a, uh, probably a neoprene washer there on the under, underside or plastic, whatever. You can write something on there, what's in there, but the brake clean is going to eat it right off right away. But I want to give you a little pointer here. So let's put some air pressure in this. Which, by the way, never fill these all the way to the top with your brake clean because you want a volume of air in there so that you can pressurize it. So here's my pointer. So now that sprays. This one probably atomizes a little bit more. So there's one tip for you there. Buy the one from Harbor Freight because it's more of a stream. And if you want even more of a stream, then, as you can see here, that's more vapor. This is more stream. Boss man may like you to use this one if he's buying all the brake clean. However, if you want a little more of a stream, take you some pliers, or better yet, in a vise and a drill bit, probably the smallest drill bit. Make sure you get all your parts back in it, like that little deal right there. And now, even more volume. So, if you're used to knocking a hole in the side of the aerosol can and dumping it out, then go ahead and drill your tip out to where you have a larger orifice there. And by the way, you don't just have to use this for brake clean. You could use it for WD-40, water, uh, whatever you want. Or you could get a pump sprayer as well. And then if you wanted to, the one that uh, sprays like your boss likes it, maybe you just write uh, boss on the top. And that's the one you know you use when the boss is walking by. And if he says, why does that say boss on the top? You say, well, boss man, it's because you're the boss. And we know, we appreciate you because you buy our, all our brake clean. Anyway, so that's uh, the second one is a pressurized container for your brake clean or whatever other chemicals you like to use or water, what have you. Next up is a good pick set. I say a good pick set. If you don't need a pick set or don't use it all the time, uh, let me scratch that. Everybody needs a pick set. And you can choose, I think this was $1.99, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've heard Harbor Freight people all the time talking about it. I think they give these out sometimes. I don't know. I'm not aware of all the coupon stuff and the different days of the week stuff and, and all that type of stuff. But I think uh, these are the kits that sometimes they give out. And great, if you're happy with that, then absolutely. The handles are, you know, you can fill the seams, not real smooth. I don't, who knows what the quality is, but still, you're typically not putting a lot of prying power on, on tips of, of uh, pick sets, right? But we also went uh, for the top of the line icon set as well, in which these actually look pretty nice. Have a decent handle on them, nice sharp picks, and kind of the same kit except uh, you're getting a little, a little longer, I guess. Oops, those don't like to stay in at all. So two bucks here and twenty bucks here, but again, you want another option? I think you can get uh, these Milwaukee's at Home Depot for twenty, or maybe even eighteen ninety seven, something like that, or probably other places as well, but. Again, you don't have to stick to just Harbor Freight. We're just kind of giving you some options here. It looks like the Milwaukee's are a little bit longer as well. But that's just something, this pick set is something you will use all the time, kind of like the flush cutters. Um, once you start using stuff like this, you'll always find more uses for them. And then a pair of soft jaw pliers. These are something you don't use all the time. Uh, but there will be times when you need to grab something that either A, it's something that's got a nice finish on it and you don't want to have to uh, scar it. Uh, and, and by the way, yes, you could take a regular pair of channel locks. You could throw some rubber hoses, heater hose on the end of it to keep it from marring or, uh, you know, wrap it in tape, whatever. 
But if you've got these in your toolbox, it's really easy to grab, whether it's, you know, you're trying to grab a piece of pipe or whatever it is, and you can adjust these as well. So just something else good to have. I think these were 25 bucks as well. Um, so a pair of soft jaw pliers. And then last up, you're probably ahead of me on this one. Magnetic parts trays. Now you can go all out and you can get the uh, the new silicone versions of it, which are great. These are absolutely awesome to have um, because they, you know, lay on anything. Uh, but I don't believe these are magnetic, so it's not going to uh, to hold your tools. Um, but these are the magnetic trays, so your nuts and bolts and things like that. It's going to not only hold them, but also provide some magnetization, mag magnetizing, or you get it. Um, so anyway, just a place to hold um, parts, nuts, bolts, hardware, things like that. Um, so these round ones are five bucks and, uh, and it looks like the silicone tray is only nine bucks. So nine bucks for these, $4.99 for these. I like these color coded because then you can have multiple ones around, whether it's different people that has them or you got different projects going on. Uh, and you can store those nuts and bolts or fasters or, or whatever it is uh, in these. Don't let them pick up your tools. Uh, but just a great way to kind of differentiate between the two. Or you can go for just the silver ones, and that's great. I think you can even get them a little bit cheaper, the Pittsburgh, not the U.S. General. Um, or you can color code them to your toolbox, whatever you want to do. But these are very handy to have around the shop. And by the way, arguably, I have probably the best pair of flush cutters uh, that you would probably be able to buy supposedly and they broke too so not everything is going to last forever no matter what name is on it so let's recoup 25 bucks for the soft jaw pliers uh 25 dollars for the uh, icon flush cutters 3.99 or four bucks for the pittsburgh flush cutters uh 39.99 or 40 bucks for the maddox pressurized sprayer Five dollars for the round parts trays each. That's five dollars each, or four ninety nine each, and then nine bucks or eight ninety nine for the silicone tray, and then uh, twenty dollars for the Icon pick set. Um, Two dollars for the cheapy pick set, and then if you wanted to go to the Home Depot side or uh, Lowe's, or I know it'd be Home Depot um, for the Milwaukee's, those are going to cost you about twenty bucks as well.